Adieu. Adieu, adieu. Amen. A chair. A voodoo gaga. And in every other affirmative language. Dr. Aaron, thank you again um, for your mentorship, for being part of this cloud of witness as we continue to press on seeking the true family. You know, brothers and sisters, Dr. Clark and, 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 and others, we are truly privileged to live in such an era where um, many of us, our journey in this, as travelers on this, this great cosmic experience um, was fueled in part by, we say, uh, the true parents' consciousness that especially Reverend Sung Young Moon, um, our encounter, um, our convergence, um, not by happenstance, no. Um, is it by design? I cannot say that too. However, um, that convergence has allowed us this, this spirit and time. And it's a good thing, it's a great thing. Uh, many persons, I may shy away as ministers from, from you know, um, celebrating their affiliation. Um, and I can understand that, especially with, with institutionalized belief system, anything that is institutionalized these days and that has not really delivered a model uh, should not be lifted up. However, the consciousness consciousness, the heart, consciousness, the vision, it's unchanging. That can never be taken away from anyone. And that is what we are to inherit. And when we hear about, oh, unite with Father Bayer, unite with Mr. Bayer, unite with Dr. Clark, unite with Dr. Lewis, unite with anybody, what does that mean? It is united with the consciousness, the, 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 the beauty of, of what their heart for the world, as we seek to unite, the beauty of what Dr. Linda's consciousness wants to allow the world that to stay home and know that you, you contain everything beautiful. You are you, everyone. Like I, you created with the same capacity and capability, godlikeness. A true parent are having God, a heavenly nature that is already within. So we want to sincerely, you know, I I I am beginning to I don't know where it comes from, but I have to tell the world, Dr. Aaron, I love where you are in your consciousness, in your in your attentiveness. I love where everyone that is around that the universe is allowing me. And I say me in this case. I pray you can put yourself in it to synergize with because these are not ordinary times. It is difficult. It is a challenge to find persons, one or two, that can speak to really say, listen, I am not satisfied with just the BS I've been receiving. I'm not satisfied, like Dr. Lewis would say, with my PhDs. I got thousands of them, but it has not brought about the truth of the beauty of the family nature that this world was designed for. That great cosmic a reality that all of us can be prosperous together without no infringing on anybody. All of us can shine. Look at this. Look at this, somebody. Please, this is not just joke. This is not symbolism. This is reality. This is a true family we've been born into where everyone is a star. Everyone, 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 not some of us. And so today, we want to continue on that direct clear conscious vibe i pray you can receive i pray you can you can find it some more dr dr clark you're going to find it some more in your neighborhood and on, on i just cannot get over that beautiful um scenario i see i can see it in every other neighborhood everybody catching up and say look it's a beautiful summer day we don't even need to plan anything just bring out your guitar father bio just bring out your drums uh, ma uh, mommy bio bring out your flute mommy 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 ma 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 Ma, ma, mommy, Linda, just bring out your, your so-called Indian Shiva dress and, and come and, and bring your belts. Let's just let just serenade God. Let's serenade life. Let's just jingle up the atmosphere with joy because 
just because, just because, not because of any belief system, but because life is just so what it is, very good. So today I want to show you a little slide that we're going to be using. We want to go back to light. Why, why do we want the bless with not just a bless, you know, that word again, and brothers and sisters, yes, use that word sparingly. There's, there's what they call a lesson. There's a reason people have a lesson. And so we call it a blessing. You get, you get, you know, there's a lesson. But we, we want to learn and be more from the lessons we've had. So God has given us some lessons. So we want to go beyond being less. We want to be really more. And how do we become more? I by myself cannot be. My light can only be one of the limited lights out there. Yes. But to be more, we need a constellation, a constellation. And everybody is part of that constellation. So I, I, I get excited about light because see what this has brought to us. Through the apocalypse of religion, when we look at the scriptures now, we see the scriptures through the, spirit, the eyes of the Holy Spirit and we can see more. I love the scripture Dr. Dr. Linda used yesterday to, to elucidate more, more clarity um, um, into, into, into who we are as inner seed or inner dunes with an inner um, light. Um, Jesus makes it very clear from his very first pronouncement that um, we, are, we are like it. And before I show this, let me, let me back up, let me slow down a bit. Um, science has found out, as you all know, that when the sperm and the egg in that meeting point, in that meeting place, there's the spark, a light, a light comes into, you know, that is when some people claim the soul. It is, isn't that interesting? That's very interesting. And I'm, I'm sure most of us here let's just watch it let's just look at this and uh, before we go oh because and just so called belief systems we are here to get rid of just believing um because believing is good is a starting point but we must unveil um what makes us believe and so we're, we're talking about light and we want to bring light into its very scientific, pragmatic truth um, because we are really photons. For the sake of mommy, uh, mommy Linda, sorry, for the sake of uh, mommy Nanji, uh, who sees better than any one of us here, I will try to read um, what's on screen. So, scientists just photograph beautiful parts that fly when a sperm fertilizes an egg. We all started out like this, one egg and a bunch of sperm. But only one sperm can fertilize an egg, a moment scientists call egg activation. It's normally invisible to our eye. A recent study revealed the beautiful sparks that go off during egg Activation. Fact, again, life. Scientists knew animal eggs spit out almost 20% of their zinc without, within seconds of the final embryo. It's necessary step to trigger the embryo cells to start dividing. Scientists weren't sure if this happened in humans. Through the new study, through the new study confirmed human eggs set of zinc spots with fluorescent. Photography, bring sparks to eventually help couples improve using in vitro fertilization. The researchers say the fire sparks could be a simple, non invasive sign of a healthy embryo, which could then be implanted in a woman to grow into a baby. Anyway, the key point I wanted thank you again for indulging us in, in that. In that um, um, resource, um, just a way again, as we are seeking to let persons know that religion and science, though they may look like on two different tracks, however, 
if we really sit holistically um, and allow ourselves, we, we would see that they're all trying to express or explain a mystery um, it, with, we say, different parts. However, um, we are grateful that where we pray, most of us, all of us are and seeking to lead the world is to do as Father Song Young Moon did, um, to bring science and religious language um, into a great and simple um, um, mindset frame or expression that um, can be easily shared and embodied. So we we really want to bless what life when Jesus said, "Let the light, let your light so shine." Um, what is, what was Jesus really talking about? Why did Jesus start with that? Why would why would someone two thousand years ago um, use that phrase? Was it just a symbolic phrase, or did Jesus know something that we didn't? Um, maybe we can conclude that Jesus did know something that we didn't because he he told us that we should um, we should wait upon activating the Holy Spirit. And through that, we will be led to, it says, all truths. And so we are going to do our part. And I pray as I keep asking the resource as we listen to each other yesterday, listening to Dr. Louis and Dr. Linda again, reigniting um, words that are already there. For example, a word called solar plex plexus. Just think about that word. Um, why would scientists even use the word solar plexus? A very important part of our anatomy. Again, representing light, the, you know, we say solar, the sun, the star. And we are told we need to bring forth and emit light based on our good works. Let your light so shine. So I'm excited, Dr. Lewis, I hope you are excited. Dr. Linda, I hope you are excited because definitely in September, we are going to, uh, we are I'm starting from next weekend, um, already um, um, finally develop the, the, the promotional material. Uh, I'm going to finalize as best as I can. Um, the promotional material for registration. Uh, I want you, my, uh, my great, my brothers and sisters as partners to be, um, I will give you what I would like you to comment on or the topic so that um, if you are able to be a part of that, of the sessions, uh, we would want you to, 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 sh to be a part of contributing. So this is what I'm meaning by when I say letting the bless, the true family life, uh, which is, you know, um, shine. Um, it's what I believe Father Song Young Moon left for me. And I pray for all of us. Um, he left us this unfinished um, business. Um, one of his, Dr. Aaron, his central theme for his claims, his existence and God is the established, um, God's existence is for the establishment of the true family. And most times persons have looked at the true family only as a family, as the family that Father Moon and Mother Moon to bring forward. And maybe there's, that's rightfully a part of it, to be a model, to be a model of what we would want others to also become centered on God's desire. And in sitting with that, it has to expand. And so the model does not stay as one universe as we have received today that, yes, everyone is a universe. Everyone is a model. Everyone is an archetype. However, it is how we create a constellation, a community, a, a bigger family. 
And so Father Moon left us the, this job of two, the modeling of not only a family, but the modeling of the true family, which is clearly Dr. Clark humanity. God's family is the true family, not my single family, not a or anyone's family, which has God in it. So it is when all of us, when we can see all of us, sincerely, all of us, all humans and beyond humans, see creation as part of my family and make it again true, true, that this is true. This is not a belief system, not, not a conjecture. As we see, everybody comes through that light photon, that, that emission of energy that comes through the, the sperm and the egg activation, that light that in the beginning, the Bible says again, other, other religious scriptures have said, in the beginning, God said, let there be light again. The very first act of creation, the emission of light, which is life actually, <laughs> you know. So the true family life, we, we have to let it shine. And we are saying, let's do it by heavenly fun. Why not? Let's really understand fun. And we, I think we are, I don't think, I know we are, we, it's a gradual thing to turn the Titanic around, but the Holy Spirit is doing it lovingly and respectfully and, and universally synergizing. So with heavenly fun, we have to now qualify. What does fun mean? And if this is truth, not play on words. As yesterday again, we continue to unpack. It's not a play on words. Fun must be something that brings people together. If not, there's no fun in any individual claiming he, because no one is an island. Back again to no one is a universe by him or herself can exist. So heavenly fun is when we, family, unity, it's family, the world as a whole, but my local place, my home, when family, where family unity nourishes, that's fun. That's true fun. There's no way anybody can argue that. There's no other thing we can call fun because if our families are, if family is not united, where's the fun? No fun in that. No fun in this, in, 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 in a divided, divisive, destructive death comes. So I'm just excited that we, we are, we pray we are getting um, this unveiling as we come to understand that letting the true family life, which again is true light shine, is already indicated in scripture. Let your light so shine. Um, we will help, we pray persons to see this more and more, how our life, true family life shines through Jesus telling us very clearly that, you know, he no longer calls even his, his, his followers. Look at that word follower as if he's a leader and, he said, no, this is not about that. It's like, no more, I don't call you servants anymore. We are fellow light bearers. We are now friends. And so we will help persons move again. What fun is, um, there are family members, unfortunately, Dr. Clark, that are not friends. And that's sad. How can we be family members? How can we, people be in the same belief system and not even be friends? And so how we move the language as, as Yehoshua has moved it beyond just saying, oh, I'm serving God, this false humility, which is what it is, pretentious humility. But Jesus saying, hey, rise up um, um, and, and be a friend. And we know what friends are. Friends are like what we see here happening with each and every one of us, um, really duking it out with, with trying to unpack, on detach from, belief system, trying to really understand each other, listening to each other, there for each other. Um, even when we don't see each other, we, we are always there for each other. So I, I, I thank you for listening. And I will end on this. Servants are needed for helpless people. You know, servants are needed for the helpless. You are not, God does not need servants. No, a true king, a true queen, a true a true God-like being. Why would, why would God need a servant? Let's, let's just meditate on that. 
They have the world to why? You know what servant she does? It creates master dichotomy. It creates oppression. So that's why Jesus moves us away from that thinking. Don't, I no longer call you. And then says, okay, if we, if, if we are friends, we will serve each other. I will be willing to wash Dr. Clark's feet. I will be willing to wash Dr. Lewis's feet, Dr. Linda's feet, because that's how the, the uh, true love, true yoking, rises beyond. And we become a true family. We become a family. We become universal siblings. So this is what the Holy Spirit is impressing sincerely and we, on my on my per, on where I am, and I pray as as I, as I cherish you for where you are helping us be. I have to say you because we are still have that individual eye that needs to um, 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 you know come into into what we call the I and I, um, the God in us. So. We still pray for your for your for your for your um, um, continuous um, input. Um, as we say again, we've done this before, and it was received well. And we pray this time around as we enter this divine month of number nine, September, as we really do our part to look at where we are from all all vantage points, and we keep. The, the true parental consciousness at the center because that is what we see as God bringing all of us into synergy. And so I want to again thank God for the right Reverend Dr. Sung Young Moon who came into my life at a time when I needed um, to start unlocking myself from um, um, the Phariseean um, um, yes, the Pharisean way of just me, myself, and I salvation, and you got to go get yours. And he brought the consciousness of no, the true family is for all of us. We are God's children. We are all God's children. And he brought the consciousness to me of science and religion. They may seem on two different paths, but they are seeking the same thing. And how do we bring the language uh, more simple? that allows us to really manifest the best model of what true yoking, true unity as friends. So I love you. My phone, our phone should continue. Dr. Clark, um, let me not hold you. Um, friends, unity nourishes. Friends are gonna come to your porch, right? Um, Family members are going to come. They're going to unite, centered on what? Just to have fun, play music, art. Um, this is the new way. Father Moon predicted it, Dr. Aaron. He says the hobby. We call it the hobby. He says the hobby industry. He says the way of the future. It's already happening because AI, Dr. Lewis will tell you, AI, they can do all the hard work for you now. You, have just, you, you just need to bubble up with others and encourage others. With the arts, it's already in everyone. If you just to go around saying thank you or smile, no cherishing, cherishing people, not by belief. Uh, it will not work anymore by belief. It will only work by we letting the light shine. Um, just naturally, just let it shine. Embrace people where they are with fun. Uh, that, that's my brother. That's my sister. And... He or she is not just a brother, he's a friend, and she's a friend. I can share my secret with, and they will not condemn me, just as I share it with God, and God never condemns me. Thanks for paying attention. Um, I wonder if there's any stimulant from anyone based on what we've shared. Our servants, <laughs> uh, um, great men and women of God, uh, of the universe, we don't need servants. And so think, let that resonate. I think for me, that was, for me, this morning, what really brought me to more attention. Then why do people um, strive to have, I'm a king and I need servants? That, that, is, that is totally contradictory to the universal um, way. 
that God created all of us in God's image and likeness. Uh, yes, we serve each other. That's why we love each other, because we love each other, we care. Uh, however, servitude is not um, something of honor in the sense of I have many servants uh, and we, we want to eradicate that. And that's why here we cannot even have a structure, says the Holy Spirit. Um, I, I cannot buy into the man-made structure of this, a chairman, a vice president. No, that's why we are co-conveners. Um, and as we grow, we pray we will develop this model where um, every week or every month, the, 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 the so-called coordinating convener shifts or every year, you know, like we go to people's home, you now become the, you know, you coordinate that for that year. Because these languages of chairman, chairwoman, this structure, this Pharisean thing, the Pope has cardinals, the church has a central figure. And a... Uh -huh. <laughs> let's let's take it. <laughs> you know, Dr. Linda I say, yeah, let's take it. That's all right, but you know, we, it is us. We all are these again universes that should synergize. And once we synergize, there's abundance. We feed into each other, we give and receive. Light shines brighter when there's a constellation. You can travel better. Uh, uh, <laughs> so let your light shine, Mrs. Bayo. Let your light shine, Mommy Linda Carrier. Let your light continue to shine, Dr. Aaron, Dr. Lewis, Mommy Nanji, Baba Wagas. Uh, just let it shine. And it shines sometimes by just a smile. And it's not a gimmick. But if you can lend those muscles to just release, when you enter a room, uh, it can just start like that. It starts with just looking somebody straight in the eye, not, you know, just, hey, you know. Uh, it starts by extending a hand or open hand, hands. That's how it's so simple. It's, uh, extending a hand means at the grocery store, hey, can I help you? That's your light shining, you know. Uh, it, it's just so beautiful. It, it doesn't take, do you believe in God? <laughs> Sorry. I love you. Let me stop there. Uh, so all those who believe in God say, yay. <laughs> and all those who do not believe in God, don't do anything. Just go and do some work. Okay, let's go around quickly. I'm going to just, uh, I got to go, but I just want you to hear a little bit. I think you can hear what's going on next door to me. Oh. If you can hear it. But just out the window here, my neighbors. Yes, I hear the trap well. set. So. Oh, thank you for joining us. Yes, we can. Can you hear that? Yes, yes, okay. I hear it. Are yeah, you going to sing? Go out and sing. We yeah, they're about sing. 30 feet away. So I have uh, I have uh, some young men showing up shortly. This set up and uh, it's been wonderful. God bless you all. Let's put Please say hello to six. Say to Setsue, sir. It's wonderful to start with Om today. I really oh. appreciated that. You know, we love you. God bless everyone. God bless you. Too. Namaste, brother. Thanks for Namaste. making us more. Remember now, be more, not less. Thank you. So that's that's a good cue. Um. Uh. Unless there's anything on anybody's deeper heart, um, maybe to add to, say for the bio, maybe you can use this other language or uh, because we really, um, I, I, I know we are all onto something beautiful and we are listening to each other, receiving from each other. So let's continue from the solar plexus. Uh, it's a divine organ, your pinna gland, they say the third eye again, uh, all these things, that's how inspiration come. Um, it, it's just it's just so beautiful and it's already there. It's already there. It's already there. Dr. Aaron, thank you for that prayer. Um, any one word from everyone? Let's go around quickly. Dr. Aaron, start the one word after you. Okay. Dr. Linda. Yes, okay. uh, uh, just this is uh, Dr. Linda still on. I just asked her one. Just give me a little understanding what oh means thank you very what much 
Om means amen. And you're oh. saying amen oh. is hidden. The amen is hidden. The son of God is the own. And it's hidden. You say it at the end. I say don't start, don't, don't end with the uh, the amen. Start with the amen. 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 And then every, every amen. nation on this planet uses the amen. Now I'm gonna help you with this a little bit. Can I help you a, a little bit? Please. Can I help you? Yes. Please. Okay. Let me help you with this. <laughs> if you up into the sunlight of supreme bliss, that A is the masculine energy of the universe. That M is the matter, is the woman, the feminine energy in the universe. And the I is your Spinal column, your spinal mm. column, and that 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 in on the end is the nose. Is um, mm. oh. amen. Mm. Stimulate. Knock on the door. You're knocking. Knocking on God's door, let me in. I want to be with you. You are with me, but I want to be with you. I want, you know, and let me tell you this. The light of the body is the, soul, is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body will be full of light. So says somebody, in Matthew 6, 22. Why is this so significant? Because when you go outdoors during the daylight, you have 100,000 looks. You're the luckiest person in the whole universe. There's so much light. You got all around light. Light from above, below, inside, outside. Light is all around. Why are you walking in darkness? So you are home already, Dr. Aaron. Did that help you very yes, much? Yes, yes, Amen. So start yes. with the home, start with amen, and continue to flow with home. It's a it's a great, it's a great, oh, it's a great activation. Oh, yes. Um, thank you, um, Dr. Lisa, again. That's always... Um, until, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Until the inner self starts to say, Om, I hear you. It'll say, I hear you. It'll start omen back. Yes. It'll start talking back to you. You have to be able to speak the language of nature. The Om is one. The Na is the earth. The ma is the water, nama. Like when you say namaste, nama. She is the fire, va is the air. So we're gonna work on clearing the light centers in the body, in the mind. We're just gonna just clear it out because once you shine the light, darkness will disappear. You have oh, yes. So, yes, it's gone already. Uh, continue, everybody begin to continue to shine, please. As we shine, it gets brighter. Let's hear, Dr. Lewis, would you like to shine some light, please? Any light, you want to reactivate any light for us? The ultra lights, because they are different lights. <laughs> quietude. Quieter. Quietude. Oh, quietude. Mm -hmm. I think that was a very good quietude. <laughs> Could you explain for me? Hmm? Spell it. That's 
explain. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, self-explanatory. It's the state of being quiet. Thank you. Don't disturb yourself. Do not disturb. Amen. So disturb after this, yourself. after this one night, ninety minutes of of again shaking and ruffling the waters and quiet time, everybody can take the next twenty two hours to be quiet. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So you have enough time to. Get back to quiet. To thank you, big brothers. Sincerely, mm -hmm. sincerely, sincerely, mommy. Sincerely, let's have a wonderful, wonderful, continuous time of being quiet and receiving, and then coming forth brighter, joyfully and graciously with gratitude. I love you all so much. Shine your light, whichever way. Let it shine. I love you. Salam ji, Baba Wagas. Salam ji, Salam. God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oshe, Oshe. I receive it in my Yoruba language. Oshe, Oshe. Yes. But you be yes. more. You be more. You be more. Okay. Amen. I do. Yes. I do. Salam ji. I love Bye you. Guys. Love you too. Thank Dr. Lewis for quiet too. Thank you, Mommy Bio. Okay.